We'll work problem number seven from 7.3. Determine whether four comma two is a solution of the system. So they've given me an ordered pair, four comma two, x equals four and y equals two. They want to know if this set of numbers works in both equations. When we say works in both equations, do I get a true statement? Does it satisfy? That's one of the drop down questions in 7.1. Does it satisfy this system? Well, the only way to kind of check it out is to plug it in and see if it works. I'm going to write the equation 4x minus y equals 14. And then it's going to be 4 times 4, plug in 4 for x, plug in 2 for y equals 14. Now, the, it's really a question. I'm going to put a question mark above or below my equal sign. We want to know, is that true? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 2 is that 14. 16 minus 2 is 14. 14 equals 14. Now, it's true in the first one, but it has to be true in both of them. So you have to also check the other one, which is 3x minus 5y equals 2. Is that going to be true? I will plug in x equals 4 and y equals 2. And I started to write a question mark. 2. Question mark above the little equal sign. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times 2 is 10. 12 minus 10, does it equal 2? 12 minus 10 is 2. 2 equals 2, so yes. It, I got a true statement when I plugged it into each equation. I'm going to write the word true under that, and true under 2 equals 2. Because I got true for both of them, is it a solution? The answer is yes. 